All right, YouTubers, welcome back. My name's Dave, like always, and you found Do It Yourself, Do It Right. Well, got my Ford hat on, got the old girl behind me. I also got the other Ford in the garage, and, you know, I'm basically running low on space for the time being. So today, you know, we're gonna do a couple of easy jobs on the old ford if you guys have been following along i've uh, noticed a couple of things that uh you know i want to tidy up under the hood because that's really the only thing that i can get to right now is under the hood uh so i'm gonna go ahead and um yank that uh coil bracket off get her cleaned up spray some black paint on it make it look better and i also got the uh the second oil bath cleaner sticker in finally in the mail and we're just gonna stick that on so two pretty easy things to do today so uh you know let's get at it So if you guys look, you see this cool little Ford oil bath cleaner sticker right there. And if you guys noticed, there is not one on this side. So I went ahead and ordered a second one to go on there. Finally got it in the mail with some other parts that I can't get to. Now it's in here. I put it in a cool little envelope for me. It's a PSNC Energy, you know, they took an old scan envelope and put my uh, sticker in it. So, keeps it nice and uh, flat without getting wrinkled. And then, you know, while I was doing the wiring, you know, fixing the wiring mess, if you guys haven't, you know, saw that video, there's a link up here. And, uh, you know, I did notice that the coil bracket see this nice bracket here yeah well it's you know it's all rusty so i'm gonna go ahead and take this bolt out pull the bracket up and you know i'm taking it up to work where there's a nice wire wheel on a grinder bench grinder i'm gonna wire wheel it to death and then i'm gonna shoot some black paint on it and i'm also gonna do it to that bolt so the bolt also looks uh you know decent so uh yeah first thing i gotta do is obviously gotta yank this off well i'm batting a thousand kind of like judge didn't in the alcs or for that matter none of the yankees did i uh you know setting my camera up i dropped it and busted the uh the mount for it so that's always awesome All right, so you know, I just got a wrench. Probably the wrong side. Oh, look at that. Got a half inch, perfect. First guess. Go figure. That was, uh, you know, lucky. You know, unlike the Yankees in the ALCS, they, they weren't lucky. They got hammered, you know, they got swept. Like, that's bad. I'm not a Yankees fan, even though I now live in New York and I grew up in New York. Not a Yankees fan. I grew up a Oakland A's fan. You know, that was back when, uh, you know, they had the Bash Brothers going on, you know. Jose Canseco. And, uh, you know, uh, Mark McGuire. You know, those two guys, you know, they were juicing back in them days too, probably. Ricky Henderson, Dave Henderson. You know, I, you know that's, those are, those are the guys that I watched. I really like the A's. Now the A's, you know, they suck. And I actually just heard not too long ago that uh, they plan on moving to Las Vegas, you know, with the Oakland Raiders. So the Raiders left and now the A's are gonna leave. So that's always fun. Now what is this guy, what do we got here? Oh, we got a nice flat tip. Loosen up the flat tip and uh, pull that, uh, 
pull the coil out. So I'll give you guys a, uh, you know, a semi-pro, because I'm definitely not a pro. Semi-pro tip, when you put a new coil in, make sure you, uh, you wrap that puppy with some electrical tape. You know, so when that, you know, so when the bracket loosens up and your coil starts rubbing around, it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't rub a hole in your coil. It starts rubbing your electrical tape. So that's, uh, you know, pro tip for the day. And, you know, second pro tip is don't lose the second bolt for the uh, bracket because uh, <laughs> I just did. All right. So, you know. Continuing on with the pro tips, you know, make sure you, uh, you put your your uh, your air cleaner on a brand new seat cover that you put on your, you know, XL175 this summer. You know, make sure you put that you know sharp edge right on the seat cover while you uh, eyeball this sticker in place, because uh, you know that's basically what I'm gonna do. All right, it already looks better. So that's where the old sticker, you know, that's the one that was on it. And then you come over here and there's the new sticker. It looked like this one was a tad bit bigger, but it's not, it's the same. So, you know, we're good to go there. And now, you know, I'm just going to, uh, I thought I was gonna run this up to work and wire wheel it, but I think, um, I think I'm just gonna wire, wire brush it myself, spray some uh, some primer on there, and then uh, you know shoot the black, give her black, you know make it black so it looks like what the rest of the under the hood doesn't look like, because it's not all black, at least not yet. Guess they didn't want to talk. Back to work. paint cures I'm gonna run up and grab some candy for the youngins you know it is uh, Halloween so uh, I need to go buy some candy cuz I totally forgot yeah I know I'm terrible I'm not good with the holidays I will admit but uh, you know it'll uh, at least give you something to do while this guy and that guy you know while the paint hardens up Alright, so, you know, four days later, not really, just a couple of hours, and, you know, it's black. It, it's probably going to come off on my fingers, because it is kind of cold today, and, you know, it's taking a little longer than I expected to uh, congeal, but it's going on anyways. So, you know, basically, 
the reverse steps of what I did earlier. And now it's basically remove one bolt and loosen up the bolt that holds the that there thing that shoots the spark out to the spark plugs. Actually, it goes to the cap. Uh, you know, it's called a coil, so uh, you know, brain fart. And uh, you know, tighten it back down. So um, let's do it. So uh, you know, funny story. While I went up to the old DG, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it is Halloween, and uh, you know, I don't have, I didn't have any candy, so I went to get some hot candy while the paint dried, and it's literally just right up the road. And uh, you know, I got there in uh, you know lightning fast time, and uh, you know, I got out of the car, walking into the Dollar General, and. Lo and behold, there's some people walking out of the Dollar General. And, uh, you know, those people were dressed up like the Amish. If you guys know anything about upstate New York, it's it's Amish country. And, you know, stupid me. I, uh, I was like, oh, thinking to myself, whoa, those are really authentic. Oh, look at that. Just went all the way past where I wanted to go. I was like, oh, thinking to myself, oh, those are really authentic costumes. That's pretty awesome. And then, you know, as I got closer to the people, I realized, well, they are, in fact, Amish. So, yeah, you know, I felt kind of stupid. Who knew that the Amish shop at Dollar General? I didn't know that. I just thought that they made their own stuff. I didn't realize. I didn't see a horse and buggy anywhere. So they must have gotten a ride from someone. So, you know, funny story. <laughs> you know, it is Halloween, so I guess I just assumed. Anyways, back to putting the coil together. Got rag on. I'm going to tighten it down. All right. Now that I've wiped off all the black paint all right just like that it's black look at that you know lots lots better than it was you know black looks good hopefully last long time you know ooh, ooh. Hey. Ooh, yeah show us your picture side yeah it's the instagram side right there yeah so there you go uh, now the bracket is black and I'm going to throw the old oil bath after I gave her a little bit of an oil bath throw her back on and we'll show you the final product so there you have it two birds with one stone had to take the old bath off put the sticker on so I might as well do the bracket also and you know you really can't see it but you could if you're really looking at the engine you would have noticed that it was all rusty and now it's just you know painted rusty but uh yeah so uh you know that's gonna do it for this video uh you know once i gain some garage space back the mustang is not actually gonna live in the garage over the winter it's just in here because the leaves are falling like you wouldn't believe and those little teeny tiny leaves get into everything and you know i had to cover on the car and then there's a neighborhood cat that likes to come around and claw the cover <sighs> so i figured i'll just move some bikes around in the garage put the mustang in the garage it's cleaned up it's ready for winter storage i'm just not ready to put it away put it away yet it's actually going to live in one of my buddy's uh barns for the winter so it'll free up free up that space so then i can move the ford over and really t dig into the you know the suspension parts that i have uh the interior stuff i got to do you know there's a headliner and some kick panels and the trunk area needs a lot of wiring you know to make the lights do what the lights are supposed to do uh i mean they do it they just don't do it well the uh, right side blinker is really weak and it's because of the ground and the wire and, and like i said in previous videos i'm surprised this car hasn't caught on fire because of the wiring back there but like i said 
that's gonna do it for this video if you're liking this ford stuff you know give me a subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when the next one's coming out uh gonna be pretty pretty busy for the next few weeks of work so videos are gonna be a little scarce but uh you know like you guys do at the end of all my videos like tag share follow subscribe hit that notification bell and uh like always till next time thanks a lot <laughs>